Good blessed throwback Thursday, March the uh, 9th, 2023. The time being about 10.22 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest or the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. Doesn't matter whether you like me or anything that I produce or put on social internet. That's your prerogative. You have a United States constitutional right uh, to think, speak, and gather as you please, as long as it's in a peaceful and a certain respectful manner. Uh, tonight, I... Uh, God put something on my mind to make another YouTube video in, uh, concerning my son because I seen something that happened in Chicago and it have some similarities to my son's death. And it happened to be about, uh, it happened Monday, uh, oh, uh, uh, March the uh, 6th, 2023. Uh, in Chicago, Illinois, on the uh, northwest side, a 21-year-old 20 Spanish female was shot multiple times. They claim, listen what I said, they claim she got in a car trying to rob somebody. And they say shooting uh, happened outside of the car and inside of the car. And after the shooting was done, the female happened that they say was in, got inside of the car trying to rob somebody. Uh, her body was thrown out to the intersection. And at the same time, uh, they threw money on her body. I don't know if it's hundred dollar bills, but they threw money on her body. And when they was interviewing some of the people in the neighborhood, they asked one lady, what do that mean? And she said she don't really know. She said uh, maybe she was in some trouble with somebody. And some of y'all may say, how do that connect with my son's death? Listen to what I said. They say they claim she was trying to rob somebody. They claim this female that you see me with getting information uh, from a female in uh, Carvindale, Illinois. This is after my son's death. This is a female that my son not only got high with, uh, he dealt with her. They was they was dealing with each other off and on. They were staying in a apartment down in the area where my son get hired. She happened to see me and my daughters out in Carvindale making videos speaking about Brian's death. And she said she knew Brian. And I called her over and she told asked her, how did she know him? She said they got high together. They dealt with each other. They stayed in an apartment where she showed me the apartment they used to stay in. But, you know, she was like my son, somewhat homeless, but on drugs. And, you know, people out in the streets uh, use her. But she told me, I asked her, what does she think happened to my son? Do she think he hung himself? And she said, no. Before I tell you that, she told me she found my son wallet two days after my son's death. When I was coming back to retrieve it in about a week, uh, the police had came and talked to her and some other people that was on drugs, uh, people that they can intimidate. And all of a sudden she told me the wallet was missing out of her mother's house. But let me get back to the story at hand. She told me my son and her used to rob. He, he, he would have her. They get uh, drug dealers and rob them. At the same time, the police had my son on their payroll in Carbondale, Illinois. And you can hear on some of the uh, YouTubes that I made where the police uh, uh, dispatcher was called for my son. Or my son called the police department and asked, was he still on their payroll? But this this is a connection that the, they threw money on this 21 year old female's body, whether she was trying to rob him or not, rob him or not. They threw her body into the intersection and threw money on it. And the one lady said 
It could be uh, that she was in some type of trouble. My son was paid a paid informant by the Carbondale Police Department. This female confirmed that they was robbing drug dealers, which the police didn't care about them dro robbing the drug dealers because the police was having them set drug dealers up. But now if they robbing drug dealers, when my son's body was found, remember they robbing drug dealers and at the same time, Up, oh, let me get that back, y'all. That's her again. But at the same time, they threw money on this girl's body Monday. My son had money balled up in his hand. Now, my son is, was on drugs, and he had drugs in his socks. Why didn't the Carbondale CSI find that? Why didn't the Carbondale uh, police... Uh, they had about seven or eight, maybe 10 police investigating this. Why didn't they find the drugs in his socks? You know why? Because they didn't examine his body. The coroner didn't even examine his body. The pathologist found that when she was getting ready to do the autopsy, because they didn't take my son's socks or his pants or the jogging pants he had on. But he had money balled up in his hand. He had drugs in his socks. And at the same time, he didn't have no shirts on. If somebody suspect you as being an informant, what they going to do? They going to pat you down. The first part they going to look at what is your chest, your back, your stomach. They're going to take your shirts off. And if they trying to send a message to you, what they going to do? They going to leave something on you like they did with the female that they threw in the streets just this past March the 6th, uh, Monday, 2023. They shot her several times threw out in the streets, and then threw money on top of her. I'm going to let y'all see the video on that. Just think about that. The Carbondale Police Department, if they was really concerned, they would be questioning this female if she said, huh, my son was robbing drug dealers together, and she found his wallet, and then the wallet all of, all of a sudden came up missing. The Carbondale Police know what happened to my son. This female know what happened to my son. Just like somebody know what happened to that 21-year-old female. Similarities. Peace be still. Update. Police are looking for the shooter who killed a pregnant woman and then left her body in the middle of the street. And now Chicago police are telling us that pregnant woman was allegedly trying to rob a driver when she was shot. Just disturbing details in this story as it unfolds. CBS 2's Asal Rezai live at the 25th District Police Station with more about what happened here. Yeah, good morning, guys. Very unusual and devastating circumstances surrounding this shooting. Police say that the shooter took off, leaving hundreds of dollars in cash on that victim's body. The victim, 21-year-old and seven months pregnant, was shot multiple times after getting into a car and police saying demanding money. We're told shots were fired both from outside of the car and from people inside of the car. In this video, you can see a big crime scene. This is near Laramie and Montana around one o'clock yesterday. A family and friends identifying her as 21-year-old Genesis Escobar. The shooting apparently happened near a family friend's home. They tell us they found Escobar shot in the street after hearing at least four gunshots. They threw a bunch of money on top of her. What does that represent in your opinion? I, I mean, don't know if if she was into some kind of trouble. Now, we do know the shooter took off in an unknown car. The woman and her unborn baby, unfortunately, died at the hospital. Right now, police say they are investigating and no one is in custody. I'm reporting from the 25th District Police Station. I saw reside CBS. Now, when y'all just seen that video about the 21 year old Spanish female been shot uh, for allegedly trying to rob somebody. They ain't said nothing about they found the gun, did they? They said we're shooting on the inside of the car, in the outside of the car. But yet the 21 year old pregnant female, seven months pregnant female, laying in the streets and they threw money on her body. Think about that. The lady said that maybe she was in trouble with somebody. Somebody else in Carbondale and other places told me that live street lives. They said somebody was trying to send a message. 
In other words, when they hung my son, the money balled up in his hand, the drugs still in his socks, three paper dollars in his hand. I'm going to leave it at that. My son didn't hang himself. He was murdered. If the police was interested, they would have been questioning her. They would have been questioning the white female that claims he found his T-shirts. They would have been questioning the white female that was spending his food stamps, not at her job, but they would have been questioning her and have documentation of their interrogation with her at the police station. But they didn't. You know why? Because most of all of the people that was involved with my son on this particular occasion, they was white. And I don't have nothing against white people. My grandmother, for y'all to claim that I'm racist, my grandmother was Irish and black. All three of my daughters are Spanish, Indian and black, and Dominican. Peace be still.